All right, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Group Chart Analysis. It is you, you. It's um Monday, September or, or September. I'm saying September. I'm jumping ahead. It's uh, Monday, July twenty third, two thousand eighteen, and uh, looking forward to a great week here. A lot of cool things happened last night. Almost some of the pairs that we were looking at um were doing good. So um should be. At least the one pair that we looked at, I said AU is going to be uh, a nice clean drop. So that's like the one pair that uh, I had my eyes on. And then uh, GJ as well. We were looking at all this stuff. So we were going to be continuing what we saw. And I know that we, I was telling you guys on certain pairs like EU, U cheap and whatnot to, uh, to hold off on because of the fact that, you know, they were still making the moves and being really decisive. So we're going to be able to see exactly how that went. So, um, EU, uh, EU. There was a couple things that we were looking at. I said to hold off on it. Uh, Could have done two things. I was looking forward to uh, ultimately keep rising, but it isn't that all. Oh, it isn't that uh, big consolidation where there is no trend. So like certain moves like this could happen. So I I like that it did drop because ultimately I do see this thing actually retesting this higher, um, this uptrend here, this actual resistance zone. I haven't marked that like 1.17798. And I think that this was just a pullback, false move we beginning. It's dropping down. Um, what I do like, if we actually look at the four hour here, I like the fact that it is above the stationary 50 um, and it's still above and it's bouncing off in between these EMAs right here. So a couple things can happen. Either it's going to, come up to retest this high right and then we could see a nice movement from here to here so if, you know if it's about from where it's at to about here you know looking at like a nice 50 pit move um if it doesn't do this because of the fact that it is no trend and this is why you got to be like really extra careful when it comes to these types of you know moves uh, is that it could consolidate in between for a little bit and it could shoot down to the recent daily low so you're gonna have to be really patient with this. Look for specific candlestick patterns, uh, you, you know, railroads, even stars, morning stars, right in the middle. Um, the M's that you could that you see. I wanted to see how things could easily move from here. Um, it's just it's a little tricky. I would like to see this thing shoot up for a buy for the overall pullback that we have on the higher time frame. I think I, I still believe that we could actually see some sort of shot up. To that water on the date on the weekly if not i mean it did do another hit actually last night if you guys see that it did hit off of that daily water so that actually could be another indication this could drop so higher time frame this could drop so what we could possibly see is maybe like you know let's see like short we could see a shot up <clears throat> the retest and then ultimately like a drop like that um so it all depends on really what happens. It's in the middle. So you got to be really just extra careful with how things set up with it so that we can uh, grab the most amount of pips. This is just not a time. I would just wait right here. Watch. Fire high. You got the resistance zone there. Come on. So if it comes up to retest and doesn't take it out, you could sell it. If it breaks down, comes down to, to drop and doesn't break this, you could rebuy. It's like, it's just in that middle zone right now, and I wouldn't recommend really touching it. Back up the brain struck. Yeah, there you go. So if it comes up, false move up, and then you take that thing up, let it drop, and you can literally watch it go all the way back down to the support about 1.15771. Um, I'm going to have to watch this trade unfold. It's still a little too early for this, so I'm not trying to you know, make any assumptions and whatnot. So we're going to have to come back on this. Just, take, just keep your eyes on it. Um, and We'll see how everything adjusts from here. Um, let's go to U Chief. U Chief looks actually clean right now for the drop um, because of how this thing is pulling back. I like this small pullback. It's like a, um, if you will, it's like a bearish flag here. So it hits that low, comes up, it will consolidate up and out. And then eventually you'll see it just come out, break this trend line, and continue down to that low. All right, so there's just a couple things. I would like to see that. And on top of that, it's coming back to the blue berry, like a double top right in the one hour. 
So it looks good. It's retesting the stationary 50. It's still below it. I like Yuchi for, like, for a sell tonight. That's that's my opinion, and the best position for this thing to drop to would be that low. So that also gives me a little bit better confirmation of what to expect on EU because we if this thing shoots down, EU is going to go up. So really just um, keep your eyes on this one. Definitely look for sells. This one looks the cleanest as of right now. And uh, it'll catch – you could catch at least, you know, where from it's at 21 pips. This won't be a crazy trade. You know, I wouldn't – don't look for it to break it yet. You know, if it breaks, it comes back to retest, then you can re-enter to sell. But if it doesn't, then you're going to be getting emotional and could shoot back up. Um, let's go to GU. All right, so GU. Uh, I said last, I said yesterday actually that um, I was expecting as it hit that water that I wanted it to shoot down. I wanted it to actually gap down in the beginning. Because I wanted, to, I wanted a pullback. And it literally played out that way. Didn't do it at the time that I wanted to do it, but it did do it. So this was a nice pullback. And typically when I see something like this, guys, um, this is the next move that I potentially like to see is a shot right back up. So um, I'm going to look at this hour a little bit closer real quick. So it's right in the stationary 50. It came down. It hasn't broke it. Um, let me see if there's anything on the higher time frames. Uh, four hour. It's, it's throwing wicks now. It's bouncing off the stationary 50. This thing looks like it actually could go kind of right back upwards like that. And if it does, we will see that break. So I am going to say expect a rise on GU. Um, I like it for a buy. Uh, it looks clean. Let's see if it's 15 minutes. Come on. Consolidation here. If this is going to make a nice breakout, so we'll see. Like we should see a nice breakout to that upside. That's what I'm going to be looking for. If not, if it doesn't do it, I won't trade it. But I'm looking for that breakout to the upside. UJ. Come on. Hello. There we go. All right, so a couple things. Let's look at this daily. It shot up last week. Okay, back down. Through a wick last night, still above the stationary 50 indicating uptrend. Through a wick last night as well. There's definitely a couple things we could be seeing. This thing could actually load, that would be great too. Who's uh, not muted? NJ, I got you. All right. Did this load? Load. Let's see. Oh, is something going on? I have no idea. Hey, you it. just shot up. Let's. You just shot down. Here we go. Oh, I see I switched the pairs by accident. There we go. All right, so four hour. That drop on UJ last week coming into this week was pretty significant. We could be seeing a lot of the JPY pairs drop. Um, you know, I would I, I did want it to come back and retest this support, this trend line, but it broke all the way back through again. This one hour. Yeah, UJ looks good for a sell. I mean, shit's already dropping as we speak. And ideally, you know, we want to see this thing come back down to the recent low. Um, it's still beneath the station at 50, so we might see this thing come all the way back down into that oversold zone, extreme oversold zone, actually. So 
Yeah, it's dropping heavy. Uh, 15 minute. Hey, is it still moving? Oh, yeah. Why does everything got to move on these chart analysis? Dude? They never has had not done that in a long time. I'm trying to just do this. It's, and it's slowing me down. But you guys are still looking for sales on UJ. Overall. Good. All right. Well, I can't do this thing. I don't know why it keeps going slow. There's too many things open. Come on. I don't even have my phone on me, so I can't wait. Well, according to AU, so if I can't see it, I can just tell you. I know AU dropped last night. And that was probably one of my most confident trades last night. So if you did take it, you made some money because that was tech, textbook. Um, it was good. So that's what we're looking for. Um, I want to go into more detail, but I can't because <laughs> this thing is still slow. And there goes my laptop making the noise again. Yeah, DJ dropped one too. It's all the JPY moving. pairs. All JPY pairs are moving right now. That's why. They're all tanking. Because they all correlate. They really do. JPY is fucked this month. That's why. Bruh. I can't see shit. <laughs> it's like we're having a repeat of the other day. Is there news? There's no news, though. I hate this. I hate when there's no news and it just moves. Yeah, RDUSD just crashed, too. Oh, my. Gold is melting. Shot up. Gold oh. is awful. Looks like I was right. We were all right. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Economic news. Not meant to put up. They don't tell us. This is why I hate trading Asian. Stuff like this happens, and you can't predict it. EA just skyrocketed. Oh, that's that's great. EA yeah, just went up like 20 bucks in one candle. Maybe 30. All right. We're literally having a repeat of what happened last week because I can't see shit. So. so, no chart analysis? I'll give you chart analysis once my MT4 stops acting up. This is annoying. Well, I have your chart. Oh, hey, it moved. Oh, hey. Never mind. Let's go. All right, so we're still looking for ourselves on UJ. AU is still probably going to be dropping overall because that was a higher time frame fringe. Hit that high and then it dropped. And that's why we had it for a sell last night. So, literally, I think we called it like literally during an Asian session yesterday. So, um, Spot on. And it's frozen. I'm going to have to get like another laptop. This is not working. I got too many pairs open. I got to close these pairs. I have way too many pairs open. There we go. So, yeah, a AU guys, you're still looking for sales in AU. This thing's going to continue to keep dropping all the way back down. GJ is probably going to keep dropping too. Probably just drop tanked. 
There you go. Let's see. Yeah, it's going to keep dropping all the way down to the recent daily low or until this low right there. So we still got room on GJ. Keep looking for sells on that. EA is going up, um, but at the same time, as long as it doesn't take out this high, this resistance zone, it's still valid for sales. It's just they're buying. But at the same time, I was hesitant on EA because we were looking at the higher time frames, and it did look like it could possibly keep shooting up. So on a higher time frame scale, lower time frame, this thing could still drop. But higher time frame, this thing looked like it could still be – a buy like it can still keep shooting upwards to, to the recent high like look at all this room on the wick like they just because this is divergent again doesn't mean anything but news and all the currencies are being affected this could literally continue to shoot up to the top of this supply zone like and that's what's got me a little worried because you know, we've been looking for this thing to shoot down i mean it's obviously going up right now retesting the zones that it has but it's either going to wick off of here again and tank all the way back down, or it's gonna break it. And as soon as it breaks it, all you're doing is looking for pullbacks and then taking that shit to the next level, which is up to a horrible drawing, but you guys get it. Literally up to this most recent high. It's like that's how we're gonna have to wait on it. Um, it's still too early to tell. So let's just be really, really patient with everything, and then from there, we'll grab it. Um, and there's a lot of economic, there's a lot of news going on right now, even though there is no news. So we just got to be patient. Um, GZ. GZ, G I don't know if we were looking at this. I don't like GZ right now. So we're just not going to touch it. I mean, I, I just don't like the way it looks. I'm not touching GZ, so if I'm not going to touch it, why the hell would I do an analysis on it? <laughs> we do GA. GA looks good. It should look good. I know that GA and EA correlating. What's the Aussie news? Damn, that's a wick. Look at that wick. Stop hunting like a mo. This thing could continue down. This is just a pullback right to the blueberry. So you're going to be looking for sales. That's what I like to call a stop hunt right there. That's a nice little stop hunt. Looks good. Up uh four hour. Let me see this four hour real quick. Oh, it's retesting the station. Because of the fact I wanna say it's gonna drop. We have to see how this candle closes. What time is it? All right, this four hour candle doesn't close for another three and a half hours. So either we're about to see this thing tank or it's going to go up to that four-hour mayo, ideally, because it's breaking this blueberry. If it breaks the I mean, blueberry, if, it, if it's breaking that four-hour water, if it breaks, it's going to the mayo. So it's, we're in a zone right now that just needs to be watched. It's either, like I said, it's either going to tank or what it could do is it could drop, bounce off the mayo on the 15-minute throw that W and then shoot back up short term. So, cause right now, look, it's still above the station at 50 unless it decides to break beneath it. Then we can look, start moving the cell. So that means it would break this and it's going to continue. So really be careful. I mean, I don't know what the Aussie news was. If it increased the, the, the currency or decreased it, if it increased it, obviously it will be looking for cells on this. But if it increased, it will be looking for buys. So um, let's see how everything goes. I mean, it looks like a nice little pullback. Um, and then gold. Gold is shooting down. Oh, man, look at that. Look where it wicked. You see this line that I drew right here, this resistance zone of 1220.69? That's lined up with the left zone right here, which is literally ideal for the inverted head and shoulders. So you should, you could be looking for buys on gold right now. Literally. It's divergent as shit on the 15 minute. It starts here. This divergence starts there. 
And then you have left shoulder, head, right shoulder zone that it's hitting, so possibly consolidation, and then a shot all the way back up. All right, so like really be careful because like this thing, it's gold is a very technical pair, and it's retesting this low right now. So like hold off on it because I mean the RSI looks like it could keep shooting down. I mean yes, and it, it, it is a downtrend. So like we're gonna have to be really patient on this. Let me see the four hour real quick. I just want to see that RSI in the hour looks like it's gonna keep dropping. To be completely honest. The four hour through that W, it's continued up. Uh, we're gonna have to wait because it's either gonna it's either gonna consolidate here, or it's gonna shoot and shoot up, or it's going to continue down and retest this low. And it is a downtrend, so you know I don't want to tell you guys you know buy against the trend right now, but if you do buy against it, you need to be a hundred percent sure it's gonna be a buy, and the only way that's gonna be able to happen is if you wait for a pattern to form here it just touched it one time if it's going to reverse it's going to consolidate it's going to consolidate for just a tad bit i don't want to say consolidate i just say like a small range if you will because look what it did over here it hit it a couple of times but it also consolidated multiple multiple times before it decided like in the little above the actual point and then it shot up so if it does that, we'll see the exact same thing happen where it consolidates a little bit above the wick and then it'll make that little move and it'll shoot all the way back up. And if it shoots up, guys, it's going to that 15-minute blueberry, which is the one-hour water, which is the four-hour ketchup. So, or, yeah, one-hour mayo, sorry, not the mayo. One-hour mayo, mayo, which is the four-hour water. And that's an ideal pullback zone. So we'll be seeing how that operates. Just keep your eye on it. And, you know, especially the currency of the U.S. dollar, so. Um, so we can get capitalize on all the pips we can. Um, so that's what we're looking at. I like uh, AU a lot. I like for the continuation. I think it's just doing a bunch of stuff, stop putting right now. Um, we'll see how EA and all that goes. I mean, if, if AU goes up, EA was going to drop. GA is going to drop. That's going to confirm it. So just a lot of things are in the middle right now. So you just got to be patient towards things and once we get that clarification we should see a better cleanup by london session so asian sessions all fucked right now because like the news and jpy i mean whatever the news is but uh definitely keep your eyes peeled on some of these base currencies because they're gonna be making some news cool that's uh that's tonight's analysis so tomorrow what's today monday so we'll be coming into tuesday looking for midweek reversals possibly con uh, continuations and then or just looking for those pullbacks on a higher scale so um, I will see everybody tomorrow, 6 o'clock. We'll get this thing rolling and uh, catch some pips tonight. Let's do it. Peace out, guys.